We're rolling. Uh, I know probably Christian's gotten a few questions about the U.S. on this tour, but did, do any of your teammates ask you anything uh, about your experiences in the U.S. while you've been here? Yeah, of course. As uh, an American, they definitely ask me for places to go and things to do and just about the country and things like that, you know. So I um, can't think of any other top of my mind, but yeah. When you're either on summer tours like this or when you report to, you know, national team camp, like obviously you're kind of sometimes walking around the city. What do you what do you generally take away from when you're visiting a new place in the U.S.? Like just sights and sounds you take. Does someone kind of give you some historical fun facts? What do you get out of those experiences? Uh, I mean, most of the time it's really nice seeing like that everywhere in the U.S. People are so welcoming, uh, so kind, and they're so you know outgoing. That's that never changes. And then it's just nice seeing different parts of the U.S. You know, um, see different types of weathers. You know, going to Florida and places like here. So no, it's just the whole country is amazing. What's been your favorite uh, part of this tour so far? Um, the favorite part, um, you know, the games. I think there was great atmospheres with the fans. Um, so many f having fans from the uh, from AC Milan here in the US is amazing. Um, me and fans, um, you know, in the events uh, here, the flagship as well, the interaction, um, so good. Uh, switching gears to the Olympics, when you're on a tour like this, I don't even know how interested you are in the Olympics, but if you are interested, yeah. how, do you, how do you keep up with the news? Are you scrolling on social media? Mm -hmm. Are you keeping track on an app? What's yeah. been your consumption of the Olympics while you're on the tour here? Yeah, no, the Olympics is amazing. I love watching it every, uh, whenever it happens. And um, no, because I've been so busy, it's been hard to actually watch it live. So I'll be, I'm able to watch the highlights later on, you know, and I, I love watching all of the events, whether, whether it's swimming, um, you know, the diving, and I can't wait to see the athletics. Um, what, um, any specific athletes that you're always trying to keep an eye out for? Um, no, not really. Obviously, when Usain Bolt was running, uh, he was very, uh, you know, I had to be on the, on the TV. Um, but now um, there's new guys coming, like No Allows, you know. Um, and then also seeing the men's basketball team, like having all these guys together is exciting. Um, it, two questions on the Olympics. If right now, if, if you could pick another sport to play in the Olympics, what would it be and why? Uh, <laughs> the Olympics uh, probably something in track and field um, I don't think I'll be fast enough to do 100 meters or 200 but maybe 400 800 15 yeah and besides something like running is there a sport that you think I could if I put in the time I could do that um, put in the time definitely fencing probably volleyball um, yeah fencing or volleyball uh, could be a good diver as well, maybe. Who knows? Um, I'm, I'm sure you don't have the time to, to watch the match, but I'm sure you saw the, the final score of uh, the U.S.'s loss in the quarterfinals. What's your kind of general reaction to that result? Yeah, no, um, you know, everyone saw the result. Everyone knows exactly what the result was. And, but, yeah, I'm always proud of the boys. Always, uh, you know, see the efforts that they put in. And, you know, we, treat, we try to keep improving. And, uh, yeah, hopefully next Olympics will be better. Um, on to some of your U.S. teammates in Italy. One, how's uh, Christian's Italian these days after a year? <laughs> after a year there, I know obviously you're pretty fluent. Yeah. How's his? Yeah, he's learned a lot. He's got a teacher, um, and yeah, he's learned a lot. So he's uh, his Italian's pretty. He's okay right now. It's okay. Um, was there a moment that you realized that he was starting to pick it up, or was there a moment that you're like, he's he's got some learning to do? Yeah, there was a time in the season where he didn't need translation anymore. He just uh, understood exactly what the coach was saying, and that's when I knew Christian Christian uh, learned Italian. Uh, last year, when when Weston was in Italy, you had what at least four, yeah. maybe more uh, U.S. players in Italy. Uh, do you keep up with each other? You know, um, during the season, is there a group chat? What's that kind of communication like? Um, no, we just communicate individually here and there, and then obviously we're always watching like uh, the scores of each other's games and seeing how we get on. <coughs> bless you, bless you. Um, speaking of, like using a basketball example here, a, a lot of basketball players will talk about how you know this off season I'm working on this thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to get better in this thing. It feels like footballers never have time off. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, like, 
are you working during training in, in training on you know adding new parts to your game how do you balance you know trying to add different things to your game while barely having an off season yeah uh, yeah as you said uh, the most important part is um, you know when we're actually training to fully focus on it and uh, try your best to you know use the training session as a, another day to learn another day to grow and then if you can do any extras on the side as well but that would be great as well so yeah i get to you know um, practice and then after uh, practice sub shooting or crossing or whatever i need to practice i think this is your what your second season in milan yeah, yeah. Uh, what are your expectations for the season how are you feeling about the state of the club right now, just the, the players um, specifically, and, and entering your, your second season in Serie A? Yeah, everyone's really motivated. Um, everyone's really excited. So we're going to go full out with it. You know, we want to win the league, of course. Um, so yeah, I'm just happy and I'm excited to go back to San Siro. Uh, what is that, and speaking of, what is that environment like? You hear so much about the legend of that building. What, what does it feel like when you play there? Uh, it feels it feels unreal, um, mostly because of, the, as you said, the players that played on that field and also the fans that create that amazing atmosphere in that stadium. Uh, it gives you goosebumps and just motivates you so much. What's it like playing with Rafa Leao? Yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice um, to play with such a player. Um, he's really good and I just hope he keeps growing and uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to be able to play with him. And then lastly on Christian, I think he was involved in more than 20 goals last year. Like how impressive was that given, you know, you're trying to assimilate to a new country and with new teammates and everything like that? Yeah, Christian adjusted really quickly, started off preseason, smashing it and then just went on to the season. Um, and uh, yeah, it's really impressive and it was so nice to see it week in, week out, not only at the national team.